Hey, this is Nate Story with Brad Tech, and today I'm going to talk about water use efficiency in hydroponic and aquaponic systems versus traditional agriculture. So there have been a lot of questions lately, both in the media and on our website and through YouTube, kind of asking us about uh, the efficiency of these systems versus kind of other agricultural systems out there. So the thing to understand about aquaponic systems and hydroponic systems is that most of them are recirculating. That means all of the water that is going to the plants, the excess is captured and recirculated. We're constantly adding nutrition to it, nutrients, um, through either fish waste or through fertilizer. And that allows us to constantly just re recycle that water and use it for our plant production. So a lot of these systems can be really efficient, which means that we can reuse water over and over and over again. So the water in this system has actually been uh, recirculating now for years on end. Now, don't get me wrong, the water that we started with has all been consumed by now, of course, but we never discharge any water. All of the water that leaves this system basically leaves through evapotranspiration, basically our, where our plants are losing water, or occasionally through leaks. So what that means is that these systems are really, really efficient compared to traditional systems, even compared to traditional gardening. So if you have a garden in your backyard, expect to use at least 20 times as much water as you would use in a recirculating system. Why is this important? Well, kind of with a lot of the things going on right now, especially in the West, there's a lot of questions about the sustainability of our water use, and specifically the sustainability of our water use in relation to agriculture, gardening, and kind of these traditional practices of producing vegetables and producing food. This is a big question right now, and it's getting a lot of media attention, and it's got a lot of people thinking about how they can do more to conserve water. So if these are kind of questions that you're pondering, then I'd really encourage you to check out and try um, either aquaponics or hydroponics. You're going to find that it saves a lot of water. And uh, oftentimes that means lower water bills, but it also means that the water uh, in your area is being used a lot more sustainably. So these are, these are kind of important things to be thinking about when you're thinking about starting your own system. Remember, it's usually a factor of 20, time, sometimes much more. Traditional field ag, uh, uses techniques like um, flood irrigation, where they basically flood the field and uh, the losses to evaporation, the losses uh, just to runoff are absolutely astounding. And the industry is changing its practices, but by and large, water use is still a big problem, both in agriculture and both in traditional gardening. So um, make sure uh, you check out some of our other videos regarding how to do this type of production and if you're thinking about it I would encourage you to ch also check out the vertical food blog we have a lot of information there on getting started with aquaponic and hydroponic production water use is a really big issue but recirculating hydroponics and aquaponics can be a great solution to the looming water shortage if you're interested, please make sure that you, uh, you can debate the issue in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, please do subscribe. So uh, we figured we'd put together a little bit of a series for you guys just talking about hydro. So right off the bat, hydroponic production is soilless plant production. Okay, so aquaponics is a form of hydroponics. Um, all aquaponics is hydroponics, but not all hydroponics is aquaponics, if that makes sense because hydroponics is using a formulated nutrient solution. So instead of using fish waste, we're actually using uh, fertilizer. Okay, so we're mixing fertilizer into our water uh, at certain levels to keep our plant growth really cranking along. 